Hello everybody, welcome back to Buzzard Drew Stein Buzzard. Another week of Seed Sunday. Uh, this week's seed is going to be arugula. Now arugula would be good for your salads and to put like uh, as kind of like a garnish on top of your like pasta and stuff like that. When you cook it, it'll lose some of its nutritional value. So let's get into what I got wrote down here. It's a cool season, salad green, tangy mustard like flavor. Plant early or late in the season. Can start harvesting as soon as four weeks after sowing. That right there would be good for if you had like a a clear tote or a cold frame or something like that. You could actually you could actually get started earlier. And since it's a cool season plant, as long as you keep it from freezing too badly or too deep of a freeze, you should be able to harvest it probably close to year round. Anyway, prefers humus rich, well drained soil. So quarter inch deep, about six inches apart. Now I'd plant them about three inches apart. And when you start harvesting, you could harvest the whole plant in every other one and allow the other ones to get bigger. Uh, so every two to three weeks for a continuous harvest. Uh, provide shade in warmer seasons. It does not like the hot weather. So if you was to grow some, I would think about seeing how well it'd grow in like a wooded area. Something that would be growing and you could harvest it before the leaves came out on the trees. Kale only, or kale, <laughs> arugula technically only needs like three hours of sun a day to grow. So provide shade. Like I said, you might try to grow some in a wooded area. See how that works. I may do. I may do that with some of the little bit of the wood, the small wooded area I have. Uh, pest is the flea beetle cabbage worm and it can get downy mildew never heard of downy mildew but you can protect the plants with row covers like your uh, something that can breathe that wouldn't hold in the heat during the, the summertime that's where a shade cloth may work pretty good on that um, Harvest leaves when they are two to three inches long. You can harvest the whole plant or individual leaves. Of course, if you harvest if you plant enough of them, I'd do the individual leaves because you're still going to get plenty throughout the growing season. But at the beginning of them, when they're kind of close together, I'd harvest the whole every other plant, the whole plant. Pull plants when seed pods start to dry. They'll turn a yellowish color. The plant will start turning, or the pods and stuff will start turning a yellowish color. You could pull the plant then. Uh, and then you, when they start to dry, hang to dry. Seeds can remain viable for six plus years. Store in a cool, dry location. I'll allow 10% to go to seed. Some of the nutritional value is 20%. Now, this is two cups, which sounds like a lot. But when you're making a salad or you're using it to garnish the your pasta dishes or stuff like that, it, it really is not a lot. But you get 20% of vitamin A, over 50% vitamin K, 50% key. <laughs> of vitamin K, 8% of C, 8% of folate, folate, hope I said that right, and 8% of calcium. 
So, the two in there, A and K, remember, is a fat soluble. So, that's where you'd want to use it for a garnish or a topping to your, your main dishes. Like I said, it's got a tangy mustard taste to it, a mustardy taste to it. So, it'll help spice up some of your foods. It'd be good to add into your rice and stuff as just kind of change up the flavor and stuff. And the seeds look like, kind of like radish seeds. They're little bitty round things. Now, whenever I'd hang, hang it up to dry, I would put it over something that if the seed pods did open, they would drop down on a cloth or, or container or something like that. The best way to, to do it is, since you'll have so many of them, there will be, I think it's like 6 to 10 seeds per pod and probably 100 pods to a plant. So you can rub them between your hands, drop the seeds. You can uh, then screen them through like a, like a window screen. I've done my turnip seeds that way. I just threw it through a uh, window screen. So, if you store them in a cool, dry spot, they'll be good for 10 or 6 plus years. And, like I said, it'll give you plenty of seeds to share or barter with. So, that's it for this week's seed. Remember, only dead fish follow the flow of the stream. Don't be a dead fish. Oh, on a, a on another video, <laughs> sorry. The uh, let's do it together food storage. You'll need some kind of container. Either I prefer a plastic bucket with a lid. You can check with your any anyone that does cakes or donuts, stuff like that. We usually have the buckets. Walmart, either it's a dollar for a bucket and a lid or a dollar for a bucket and a dollar for a lid. Bakeries, some places will give them to you. You'll have to clean them out. Uh, the place I get them from, they clean them out. So, and they charge me. It varies. It varies on who's behind the counter. One lady will charge me, you know, like four or five bucks for like ten buckets and lids. Uh, several of the other ladies will charge me a, a dollar for a bucket and a lid, which either way, I'm happy to get. And they, and like I said, they they rinse them out or wash them out. So, anyway, so you'll need a bucket or some kind of storage. Now you can use uh, totes. Totes work real good. If you're going to get a tote, my suggestion would be to get a clear tote. And the reason I say clear tote is because in the winter time, or early spring, or early, early fall, or late fall, you can use those clear totes as a cold frame. You can put it over like this. Uh, <laughs> Can't even say the name. Arugula. You can put it over there and harvest maybe even through the entire winter. That's why I'd say get a clear tote. Uh, you can use cardboard box. Now all these items, you'll probably want to get some black non-scented trash bags. And most, if not all, of the store brand will be non-scented and get them in black because you want to re retard the light from getting to your food anyway that's it remember like i said only dead fish follow the flow of the stream don't be a dead fish this is buzzard we'll see you